Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to the uh, Hawks Den for another Transformer review. Now, this review is going to be on the other leg. Power of the Prime Storm. Now, all Power of the Prime Storm come with this little end piece. It's called a primer. It's got a removable piece which doubles as a gun and a space filler. I had it here somewhere what it looked like, but I don't seem to remember where I put it. So, once I find, once we do switch, you see what it looks like. He's the only one I kept it with, you see why. Now, as far as articulation, it's a dinosaur. Not gonna be much. Four legs, back and forth, hind legs. More articulation due to the fact that they become the arms and the bumper. And the toes, well, they're stuck. They're molded into one position. I think that when they do that, I don't, uh, that's. Ooh, alright. I'm tired. Dale doesn't move in this position, this mode. Unlike Grimlock with the new add on kits, which, speaking of which, there's the other foot. You see, and it's the same thing. You can even make it a double one. Double that up, flip that down, close it back up, and make it a really big gun. Or you can just say it doesn't work. The only complaint I have about these sometimes you cannot stay together. So, fans, project, you can end up watching this. Make them secure a little more. Now, once I complete the reveal, the picture goes up here. And when you can see, there's a little scratch. And as far as his robot mode, the limb modes all transform basically the same, except for sweep. So, Either the head down in this case, or the tail down and slug slash slag, or since slag and slugs have the same basic body, tail in that one, then the arms go to faster than they're supposed to go. Back here, pull completely apart, pull these back to here. And wiggle, turn, and they just fall open. The leg spreads. And make sure you clip them all the way in. Put this down. Then you can get full knee articulation. And let's put this down there. Into the black shape. Bed here. And just rotate. Thing down and bring the arm down. There are tabs right here. Right here. Just in front of my finger. Like this. Grab the tail. Pull all the way back. Boots in. Yeah, let's put the tail first. It's in here. It's about, and there's it's his head. Close up. We lose some of his arm articulation, but this thing ain't glued in. Oh, and on this dinosaur mode, you got these with pulled out. You can put Prime Masters or Titan Masters or something with that goes in the feet on there. 
No. <laughs> He's got all the same basic articulation. Four ninety degree V, then the elbows, three hundred sixty degree rotation over the shoulders. Um, because it's the actual version of the Scramble City concept, like four waist articulation, which I think is a plus personally. It's got to be where you can make a lot of the bigger figures. Definitely step each week. Yawning all of a sudden. Sorry, I apologize about the yawn, constant yawning. Most likely will happen in the course of the reviews. Now, as stated in the previous review, I should do them, do the reviews of the pages, and then put them back in the dinosaur modes. The only one that should not go in dinosaur mode would be Grimlock. Because most of these small the arms won't go in there, so we'll it's the legs. Because they have to be that is what we'll get from the legs. You have to pay full for the prime armor. Oh, and Tadamus said you like that big sword. Get back there. Stay with this for a moment. I try to find the boy. Is that found a little boy? You see one of them? Saw that big sword. Does this look familiar? No, it ends right. This is the sword you get with all of Cybertron and Grimlock. When I first got this big one, I noticed one thing. Other than color, with the same sword. The exact same sword. Someone took it that they this sword, make it separate into one. Two, three, four, five pieces. Now, I'll see the up close version in reverse mode so you guys can see how to transform it. Okay, first, hold the backpack, which would become the tail, down to this position. You'll know when you stick your finger inside. Push the head back. Close the tail, both pieces simultaneously, or else it won't work. And pull forward till it snaps. Take the hands. Do the camera. Pull in. And just rotate it. It only go one way, so bend the knees a little bit, slash elbows, and the legs, fold the legs from the tendon up, open up the gold pieces like this, close everything, once it lines up it'll work it easily. Open up the heads a little. 
Let me just hold it up in a minute. I skipped this step. Gotta fold it over first. Find these two holes here, but are the robot feet? The piece over here. And twist as you do so. Close the legs, close the back of the legs or the underbelly. Rotate the legs 180 degrees and bang. You'll see what these pegs are on the side there. Now, here, all right. A tab like thing that's right here. You see, they go in those grooves. Now, here's an up close shot of this, this look. Some of requests that I get them at least a little closer to the camera. There's a robot chest. We have about four legs, and these are the robot arms. See? Now, the next one on the list, set me on the left side. That's accidentally showed you. And I'm getting this done from Tight Master. Because it looks so neat with this plugged in like that in the combined mode. So, I'll highlight some later.